What's up, everybody? Um, this is in this is a different video um, from c com compared from my other videos, which are mostly t tutorials. Um, but today I'm gonna be building a USB to DMX um, dongle or adapter. So I'm following this guide that I found online uh, from this guy um, Stephen B or S Stephen Brules. Um, I'll put the, the link to, to his website, so full credits go to him. This this is a pretty cool guide, and it's well done, very well explained, and uh, so yeah. So the parts required for this, you need the board, which is which has an FTDI chip that runs the that runs on the RS four eighty five protocol, which is. Um, which is, uh, which is what a DMX signal is. Um, so this is where you're gonna connect your USB, and out here you're going to um, connect your XLR um, or or DMX adapter. Um, so I bought this off of Deal Extreme. Yes. Um, and I bought all these products off of Deal Extreme. Um, they were pretty good prices. Um, it shipped in a, from around five to six weeks, so you know it'll take a little while, but you know, hang tight, it'll it'll, it'll come in. So you need the board. Then you need three wires to connect the XLR. So I have three different colors that I found, and I already stripped them, so they're already ready to go. And then finally, you need an XLR or DMX jack. So this is the this is one that I did not buy from Deal Extreme. So I did not actually buy all the products from Deal Extreme. Sorry, um, but this is an old new trick um, a, a female XLR that I found lying around. Well, actually, my friend gave it to me. So credit goes out to Cameron. Anyway. Um, so, last you're just going to need a screwdriver to connect the wires to this board and some soldering experience, some solder and a soldering gun or a uh, pencil or whatever you want to use um, to solder your wires to the jack. So, I will be doing that off camera, I believe. So anyway, let's, um, let's jump into it. So I went through all the required parts, and so yeah. So it, it, this this runs. This board is based on the F, FTDI FT232 chip, um, and that and that runs along the RS4, 4, 485 protocol, which I explained earlier. Um, also, um, on on this web page that you're gonna see all these parts. There are two Deal Extreme links for the XLRs. Um, one is a male, one's a female. I made the mistake of buying the male one, whereas I wanted to get the female one, so I was super fr fr frustrated. But luckily, my friend Cameron had a few of these lying around and just gave it to me. So that's very, that's pretty cool. So make sure that you check the the Deal Extreme links to make sure that you get the right the right uh, jack. So that's just a disclaimer. Um, and then all at the end, you're probably gonna want to put it inside a project box or a, pro or a box. But in this case, I'm gonna probably, not sure yet, use this old um, HP print server box. I'm just gonna take out the board and all and put the circuitry for this inside here. I don't know, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna do that, but anyway, so. Uh, the compatible software is for this. Um, so the guide says that, that you can use Freestyler, which is what I'm going to be using, which is for Windows. Um, and for Mac, you can use Q QLC Plus. Um, and there's also other com compatible softwares, which are DMX, DMX Control, Martin M Series software, plus Fixture Library. And that is and on the Mac App Store, you have 
JV lighting, DMS control free and pro, which also work with this board. Uh, so let's get into the build. So let me go into find how to build it. Okay, insulation and wiring. <clears throat> Pardon me. <coughs> So the RS-485 converter has at least three connectors. And this one has three connectors, which is all we need for an XLR or DMX. So these are where our wires are going to go into. Um, so the ones that we're going to be using, the A or TX plus or data plus or, or, or plus data or plus VE. Um, <coughs> B or TX or negative data or negative <coughs> negative VE and ground, uh, which is also known as GND or zero volts. Um, the rest are optional, um, so that's it. So there is only three connectors on the XLR. So let's get going. Okay. The, the connections of the XLR DMX plug are the first one, which is number one. Um, so it goes like this. So this one over here, number one, which is labeled over here, is going to be the ground. And on the bottom is going to be the first one over here. So. I'm going to set the ground to green. So for now, I'm just going to put it like this and put this into there if it goes so I know what I'm doing. Um, the second thing is, that, so the second pin over here would be data negative. So that would be pin number two. And data negative on this board corresponds to um, B. And so B is the last one here. So I'll make negative yellow. And you can use different colors, just use the ones that you want. And the last is going to be the data negative, uh, data positive. Oops, I lost this. Anyway, that'll go like that. And the last one is just the last one, so data positive, which goes to pin three. And I lost all of my connections here. But anyway, so I'm going to insert these wires into the holes. And so, and so the way to make sure that, that they're nice and secure, they're making a nice contact, is that you have to loosen these screws that are on top of the screwdriver. Just loosening that. I'm going to push it in. Well, let me make sure this twisting is not nice. <coughs> Make sure that you keep it in while you're screwing it in. I think I just lost it. Oh no, no, it's still there. So after soldering, which I have done off camera, um, but so yeah, so 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 you put in these screws and you solder everything together and you follow the guide, you follow the the uh, the ways to uh, solder your wires correctly so that so that your connection is right, it's correct. Um, so yeah, and so for some boards, the, the, is that there are multiple different versions of the same board. The problem with that is that s s some of the boards don't actually output anything, which is why there's a fix. Now, I don't know if my board is that type of board that does not work out of the box, or if it, or if it is. Um, instead of using that that uh, that big box for, for the, uh, the HP print server box there that I showed earlier in this video, I'm going to be using this um, this power adapter, and I'm going to put the whole circuitry inside this. It's a bit smaller, looks better, you know, uh, just looks more 
clean and sleek. And so that's it. So besides that, that's it for part one of this video. And um, part two is going to be installing Freestyler DMX, the software that I'm going to be using and getting it to work with this board. Um, and that'll be the first time for me using Freestyler, so I'll, I'll try to figure it out. Um, so anyway, so I think that wraps it up for this part of the video. This is going to be um, like, a, like, like a playlist and or, or like a series or whatever you, you want to call it. But it's, it's going to be all about building this DMX to US, this USB to DMX interface dongle um, circuit. So that's it for this video. Uh, like it if you liked it. Um, please put a comment down below if ever you need help or have any questions. Um, and subscribe. And once I get full credits, go to Stephen Brills. I'll, I'll, I'll put the link in the description to his website and to his YouTube channel uh, because he was the guy who came up with this, and it's pretty cool. So. So that's pretty much it. So thank you, Steven, if you're watching this. Great guide. Um, this this is a really cool thing. So all credits go to you. And all right, that's it. So like I said, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in part two of this video. Thanks.